In this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the areas of circles and sectors. Now, to begin this, we're going to work with the theorem for area of a circle, which is a formula most people should be familiar with at this point in their mathematical education. So, theorem 1011, area of a circle, states, the area of a circle is the product of pi and the square of the radius. In other words, in formulaic form, a equals pi r squared. So how can we use this? Well, if you need to know, for instance, in sports, the area of the circle that wrestlers do their work in, the diameter of that circle is 32 feet. What would the area be? Well, we can compute this using our formula, a equals pi r squared. If the diameter is 32 feet, then the radius would be simply 16 feet. So, a equals pi times 16 squared. 16 squared is 256. So we have 256 pi if we go off of exact measurements, or this would be approximately 804 and a quarter feet squared, or square feet. So, being able to calculate the area is simply a matter of squaring and then multiplying by pi. Leave it in terms or carry it through. But the newer portion of this lesson for most people is going to be areas of sectors. So let's take a look at what is meant by a sector, by simple definition, is a region of a circle bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii at the arc's endpoints. So in the diagram that is shown, we have this arc, it's a 72 degree arc, it's arc GH, and then we have the two radii, PG and PH, that form that sector. It, a lot of people describe it as looking like a section out of a pie. So a pie piece is a sector of that circle. So in order to calculate the area of a circle, or the area of a sector of a circle, theorem 10-12, we use the theorem that the area of a sector of a circle is the product of the ratio of the arc of the sector and 360 degrees and the area of the circle. So in other words, area of the sector, we'll call it sector uh, PGH is equal to arc GH, the measure of arc GH, over 360 degrees times the area that the circle would produce. What happens here is by taking this opening ratio, we're, taking, we're saying we only want a certain fraction of the circle, and by the way, the entire area can be found here. So for this sector that is shown above, we're going to have area is equal to 72 divided by 360 times the area of the circle which is pi times 15 squared. Now as we go through and do the computations of this, let's start with our squaring first. 15 squared is 225. 72 divided by 36 or excuse me, 72 divided by 360 is 1 fifth. So we have 1 fifth times pi times 225. So multiplying this through a little bit, we come out with 45 pi as the area of that sector. Now, if we want to get a decimal approximation of this, we simply multiply the 45 by pi, and we can say this is approximately equal to 141 and 37 hundredths centimeters squared. So we'd be able to find the area of any sector by doing this. Now when we start working with sectors, there's another concept that also comes up in our study of mathematics, and that is the segment. So we have areas of circles, areas of sectors. Now let's take a look at areas of segments. The segment of a circle is defined as the part of a circle bound by an arc and the segment joining the endpoints of the arc. 
So as we look here, if we take an entire circle and take out just one sector of it, now from these endpoints, we were to draw a line straight across, giving us a triangle. The portion that's left is the segment. And the way we calculate this area is we take the area of the entire sector, find the area of the triangle that's formed, and whatever and subtract those, whatever remains is the area of just that segment. So here we have triangle QPR with arc PR. And what we're going to have to do here is find the area of that segment. So let's begin by finding the area of the sector. So that's going to be the fact that we have a 90 degree angle. So we have area of the segment is 90 degrees divided by the 360 times pi times our radius squared. Well, 90 divided by 360 is 1 quarter. Pi, 4 squared is 16. Quarter of 16 is simply 4, so the area of this entire seg sector is 4 pi units. Next, we need to find the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. Well, this is an isosceles triangle, so we have 1 half of 4 times 4. And the reason we know it's an isosceles triangle is that we have radii making both portions, so we have the same uh, measurements. Since it is 90 degrees, both radii act as either a base or a height. Now multiplying this through, 4 times 4 is 16, half of that is simply 8. So if we wanted to calculate the area of the segments that's left over, we're going to take our 4 pi, which multiplying that out is approximately equal to 12 and 57 hundredths. From that, we're going to subtract our 8, giving us the area of the segment of being approximately 4 and 57 hundredths meters squared. So now we're getting to the point where we can start putting things together. When finding area of compound shapes, a lot of times we're adding sector segments together. Now we're actually going through and subtracting things away. So make sure you have these new theorems and postulates down, our theorems and formulas down, and are ready to use them in calculating some areas.